Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by Westridge Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. Well, it's an exciting time heading off to college, but it also can be a little bit scary. Joining us today from Bluffton University to tell us about how they help out students and give us some tips to my immediate left, Bluffton University Admissions Counselor Zach Likens. And then we have Bluffton University Communications and Media Major Carter Ritchie. And thank you both for coming today. Thanks for having us. Okay, Zach, we were just saying, where did the time go? I yeah. mean, kids are going to be moving on campus soon. And it can be a trying time for both the students and the family, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a lot of times it's a it's a new adventure, right? And so we kind of call that first year the, the great adventure, yeah. All right, so what does Bluffton do a little bit extra maybe to help out the students in that whole transition? Yeah, for sure. So the first weekend is actually called Welcome Weekend. So um, students have an opportunity to try out a bunch of different events. Um, Carter is an RA, and so they do like floor events, hall events to kind of get students to know each other. And then we also have something called 60 and 6. So within the first six weeks of um, campus, uh, when students are on campus, we have 60 events that they can kind of try out, um, try different organizations and clubs, and try to meet those those friends that they can make. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Carter, what was it like when you first came to campus and, you know, trying to get acclimated and, you know, figure out what you want to do? Uh, it was pretty difficult just because, like, um, I started off not being, like, a super outgoing person, um, but... Bluffton has all the resources um, in order to, for um, students to kind of put themselves out there. Um, but it's completely up um, to the individual student um, how much they want to put themselves out there. Um, but once you do, like, you're going to be meeting a lot of different people. We are a smaller campus, so um, we have a lot of different groups um, that you can get acclimated with. Um, so we just have a lot of different opportunities. And obviously you kind of, like, felt comfortable on campus and become an RA. I mean, that's a good that's responsibility, right, yeah. and you get to talk with a lot of the kids. So what's it like being an RA and helping out others? Well, like, my uh, my role as an RA is just to create a sense of belonging, um, like, on the floor, um, just to make sure people are acquainted with one another because you're going to be living with those people um, for a whole year. So I don't want people to feel lost or whatever, um, and they'll, like, feel comfortable enough to say hi to people, um, like, when they're walking through the hallway or um, just in class, they can, like, sit next to them. Um, but I like to um, invite people to different events, whether it's like a sporting event or like an arts and lecture um, event, um, just because like when I was a first year, I didn't really know exactly what to do. So I'm trying to push people in the right direction so they um, can get the whole Bluffton experience. Mm -hmm. So when you were a first year student, did you try some of those 60 events that, that Zach was talking about? Yeah. Um, so there's anywhere from like bingo to um, like a lot of sporting events. So we have some um, we also have um, mud volleyball is another one that oh, they okay. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So a lot of different things. And yeah. you kind of just find your niche and then you find some friends. Yep. Yeah, we have Thursday night spotlights. Um, and so we have like student, student organizations that are um, highlighted um, each Thursday. So you can kind of figure out what clubs we have on campus and things you um, want to try out and get acclimated with. Mm -hmm. Zach, what are some of the things that you find that uh, maybe like some tips that you could give people that you, you bring too much stuff or you have too big a high expectation? I mean, how can you help this transition with people who are yeah, listening right now? For sure. So my biggest like advice is like just be open minded to trying different things. So we'll have a time where students can uh, kind of go to like a club or organization fair, right? So just trying out different clubs, seeing what you enjoy doing. Um, there were I had this expectation of who I wanted to be when I first came to college, and once I tried different events. I was a totally different person. I realized like I had other hobbies and interests. So just be open-minded to the whole process, meeting new people, trying different things. Right, yeah. I think that's good advice because like you said, you think you know what you want and where you, you belong, but hey, there's lots, so many different sure. areas. And when Absolutely. you meet so many different people from everywhere, it, it just changes everything. Absolutely. All right. Well, you guys, thank you very much for coming today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. transition for that's people right. of Bluffton. Thanks. All right, don't go away. Nathan's back with a look at the weather forecast.